my name definitely you must be knowing okay through the schedule but still is my duty and uh, to start with i am dr manoj kumar sharma okay and uh, in this coaching field for around 23 years so not that much but it's still sufficient to help you out uh, see friends whenever we start learning okay quality because that is what i will be talking about we first of all want to know that is it only about the constitution that's the first thing that should come to us that is it only about the constitution or is it knowing something else also other than the constitution so friends as now upsc is actually asking the questions and especially if you have seen the paper, prelims paper of 2023 okay you must have realized that they are taking a step ahead because otherwise asking the questions that which state is having more members in the electoral college it is an applied purely applied question of article 54 and 55 okay which the articles which are associated with the election of the president okay it's not an easy question but otherwise if we say somebody who is preparing for civil services why should not be knowing it why should not be knowing it at least the representation of the states should be known so friends when we start understanding polity we need to understand the demand of upsc okay that is why sometimes we say you must have heard of a bible of polity all of you see we all are nowadays connected through internet and everything lakshmi kant but why it is not becoming sufficient now what's the reason no it is a good book no one can say it is not a good book it's definitely a good book but it no more can be considered as the bible you have to have a bare act as well and the applied aspect as well we have seen questions being asked from people's representation act as well specific questions okay friends so in my first class i will not scare you out rather i will try to help you that how these questions can be answered easily that's right that is what should be our objective how these can be answered easily okay and uh, whether is it true that uh, we should if we score 60% of the questions correct is sufficient no in polity it is not because this is the most definite area if you ask me see 15 to 17% is the weightage of all major subjects fine but now out of that 15 to 17% suppose 17 questions are there 15 questions are there can you hit out around 13 that's possible generally only in polity okay where you can score very high and you also need to be aware that so many students who last time qualified pre again will be appearing because in mains the selection ratio finally will be very less so most of them are repeating so which portion they will have very strong beta polity because the entire gs paper 2 is associated with it so when they go through as we will be going through here also with cases for every article definitely we are able to recall it also that is what we will be entering in correct so if i now talk about that what it will refer to what polity will refer to first of all the term that should come to you is polity that what polity is all about what it is voice is okay it's okay fine hai hey, beta no my child uh, polity is not law and order definitely not rather it is the arrangement of state or in simple terms arrangement of power that how the power in the state is carried out so 
the basic system or the basic term when you talk of polity is polity refers to the understanding of power arrangement power arrangement in a state okay beta so it will have political power it will have the arrangement in regard to executive it will have an arrangement in regard to judiciary as well please come please so when you start understanding polity you start understanding okay it is something related to raj vyavastha it is something related to the arrangement of the state that how the state is governed how the power in the state is organized correct beta so the first thing it is which anyone should be actually trying to understand that how the power is organized you can recall adolf hitler that was also he was also organizing power you can recall alauddin khilji you can recall akbar you can recall ashoka so whether monarchical polity is also polity yes why not so it means we need to also understand what is the nature and whether things sometimes you must have heard of that the previous king was a great king but the son who followed was a tyrant okay in history we keep understanding it why it happened and what is your view in regard to a famous work of india in ancient times arthashastra what is the significance of arthashastra why upsc beta numerous times in mains also has asked a question in gs not in history in gs about arthashastra why because of policies policies were given there kabash how the polity shall be organized though it is not rejecting monarchy it is keeping the king at the center but still asking the king o oh king your duty shall be to have such policies your duty shall be to have such policies which will be in the welfare of the people what pleases thy people shall be the priority of your policies not what pleases thyself correct so by what you are happy shall not be the goal of your policy by what your subjects will be happy shall be the goals of your policy that is what uh, even in ncert beta it is given okay and uh, of course such a work was to come because the removal of dhananand nanda dynasty the last dhananand was on this premise only that he is not a great king hey bad bad ruler see not ruling well so definitely people must have asked how can you claim you will rule well so it means polity is about knowing that how can we rule well definitely after 18th century's end french revolution america's war of independence entire 19th century has witnessed ideas ideas that the governance the government the application of polity shall not be based on arbitrary principles and here comes one thing to our support what is that constitution the philosophy of it is termed as constitutionalism okay so just try to make the basis what we want that what type of polity shall be there should it be of arbitrary nature or should it be of well established principles nature 
Jasmine is saying governance, Saurabh is saying to form policy. Saurabh, why constitution? What is the importance of constitution? Saurabh, Ankita, Sakshi, Jasmine, try to answer. Why the constitution? What should be the purpose? Maintain rules. Uh, okay. Okay, let me take a question only. So don't worry, UPSC is easy. If you understand things, it is pretty easy. I am just taking two statements, a question that appeared at UPSC. Two statements were there. First statement said that the purpose of the constitution is to, the purpose of the constitution is to have the rules, oblique limitations on the government in favor of the people. The purpose of the constitution is to have limitations on the government in favor of the people. And second is exactly reverse. The purpose of the constitution is to have limitations on the people in favor of the government. Correct, Vita? Two statements. And then options, we all are aware at A, B, C, D. A means only one is true, B means only two is true, C means both are true and D means both are false. But don't cram it. In C set, this time the order was reversed. Okay, in two questions it was reversed. So don't cram anything. So I am just saying for convenience purpose that A, B, C, D, we are going with that only. What is your answer? Chetna is saying, sir, could you please repeat? Yes, Chetna, I will repeat. Uh, I just read a question from UPSC prelims. And the question was, state in two statements, beta. First statement was talking that the purpose of the constitution is to have limitations on the government in favor of the people. And second question is, second statement, not question, second statement is, the purpose of the constitution is to have limitations on the people in favor of the government. Divya Jain, A. Okay, Sakshi, A. Ankita. Sanya Jain, C. Okay, Vidika. And here, let us have the house divide here also. Who all are with A? Okay, what is this? Okay, okay, fine. No worries, no worries, it is okay. Who all are with B? C? Okay, D? Okay, no, no, it is okay. Ekla Chale also is fine, that is also important that you should be. Uh, Peter, the correct answer that we are trying to understand here is, see, government is all powerful. Restrictions never need to be on the people. For that constitution you will never make. You will make the constitution to have checks on the government. So that is right. Statement number 1 is correct and statement number 2 is false. Okay? So do not worry. Take risk. Just go with the concept and your answer will automatically go correct. That is what I am trying to tell you, if we see the journey, what was the problem in monarchy? One problem was what Montesquieu tried to solve with the idea of division of powers. Okay? When he divided it in three wings, correct? Separation of powers also known as. Absolute, no, 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 my child. The thing is, whenever you talk of Article 19, I am knowing from where you are talking. You are talking from that, sir, then why Article 19, 2, 19, 3, sub clauses, 19, 4? Because in 19, 1A, they have given 19, 1A, B, C, D, like, like that, okay? Peter, it is like this, okay? Let me help you out. Suppose this is a person, correct? Hmm? And we are talking of Article 19, 1A, his freedom or her freedom. There can be some other people also. If it will be absolute, 
don't you think this person can harm the domain of this also so freedom of speech and expression is generally limited to that you come out with new ideas and if it is criticism then criticism of the government's policy is not of any person that's why otherwise defamation will come hate speech lot of things will come up freedom of speech and expression and it is not that i am stopping you i am giving you full freedom but to develop your own potential not to harm others correct so idea is to again help the people idea is sir but at the time of emergency does not constitution put limitation on people uh, sanya article 358 and 359 talk of the limitations but my child emergency is not a principle that's an exception it's not a general thing and it requires approval every 6 months if it has to continue so never learn exceptions as generalized principles exceptions are exceptions politically they keep using they keep talking and emergency is article 352 358 359 then only you can put restrictions when 352 is in application and that is only for three conditions allowed okay war war means you have to declare a war that's not an easy thing external aggression again you have to put it in front of the house legislature that's also not an easy thing or an armed rebellion so the definition is not provided of armed rebellion but definitely we have very powerful and active apex court also you keep seeing nowadays so often so it will not be that easy anyway let me put it in the beginning only because we are in the first class let's try to understand like we said what is polity it is it speaks of how the power is exercised so the principles of exercising power so what shall polity include let's write something up till here and then i will talk about the constitution okay please write friends who are online if you have any queries please keep typing you are with me only okay hmm please write polity need to be comprehended in the light of principles on which the arrangement is based in bracket you can write so that you understand what are these principles these principles generally refer these principles generally refer to the foundation principles of constitutionalism of constitutionalism like rule of law separation of powers etc bracket close so what is polity we are getting okay take next point in it now to comprehend polity to comprehend polity it is significant that we comprehend the well established that we comprehend the well established
rules comma laws comma directives etc which are included which are included in the constitution comma laws associated with running of the constitution etc third point comprehension of polity in context of indian polity in context of indian polity will require an understanding of will require an understanding of number 1 important provisions of the constitution number 2 people's representation act number 3 constitutional institutions number 4 statutory statutory institutions number 5 important judgments of the courts of law next point current amendments to the constitution or important laws and the last one recommendations submitted by commissions like administrative reforms commission comma center state relations commission comma law commission etc <coughs> so child now you know the scope now you know the scope that if i have to actually be competent to answer the questions of upsc see friends you all are going to be officers of government of india so do not consider yourself any more just a student why should i give you any sort of relief for any wrong thing written on the paper it's not so so do not expect any sort of mercy and mercy not in german which means thanks mercy in english okay 
so why should i have any mercy on you wrong means out it's elimination so the one who is having a more comprehensive idea the one who is having an idea that how indian polity is currently managed only should be given higher score and how students are eliminated to someone i give in mains 2 and a half marks out of 10 and to the other four automatically the one with 2 and a half will finally get eliminated i have not to give any zero i will just put the grades that if you have mentioned apex score judgment also then fine one additional mark and see how upsc is trying to train you because the students were not mentioning them nowadays they have started asking mains question 2022 mains in the light of judgments of supreme court or in the light of judicial announcements judicial announcements are nothing but judgments of the court so now they have specifically started asking these questions actually any polity question should be answered in the light of what for means if any constitutional article is there so the first thing should be article of the constitution number if you remember very good if you don't remember no worries you can write in the constitution so first thing if you can remember article number that's the best second if you can remember the part and if you don't remember even the part no worries as provided in the constitution sufficient you will not be scored less so that is the first thing that you should mention second thing my child will always be any judgment of the apex court if it is not there if it is not there then judgment of high court because that is also court of record that is also court of record okay so that should be provided if it is not there then beta if any law has been amended or newly established that shall be specified like for your mains two three questions can already be predicted how many of them will be asked this year that is different but for your 100% they will come okay instead of indian penal code if the law is passed you will have a new penal code bhartiya dand sahita okay so you will have that crpc also changes they may ask you for mains it becomes a good question so you need not write the entire uh, bill definitely not some of the important provisions and what is the purpose so be watchful of debates in the parliament that's why sometimes you are asked to watch rajya sabha tv channel okay it is recommended yes for this because if you add as one of the points that this has been highlighted in this house let it be lok sabha or rajya sabha if you forget in which house in the parliament don't write wrong in the parliament okay that is another point so now you see a person who is answering without them what will be his or her marks and the one who is because here for everything will be plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 this can be the difference who is saying that you will score 40% only no in some questions you can score even 75% 80% provided you put it and remember out of 20 questions child 12 to 13 only you will be in a very good position to answer so you have to have that type of preparation 
that in those 13 questions, you are somewhere scoring definitely above 60%. Okay? And remaining then, don't leave others also. And remaining, even if you get 2-2 two, two marks, 3-3 three, three marks, that will also add. That will also add. This is how we prepare for this paper. So, GS paper 2, can we score high? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You can score very good marks in paper 2 also. Yes, sir. Uh, no, definitely not. They will not put it in the form that under this article. And if they are asking it, generally they will mention it. Like I recall a question that do you think that time has come that the privileges of MPs need to be recodified as provided under article 105 of the Indian constitution. So, they made your life easy by mentioning the article, but still uh, can you think of someone who is not remembering the language of the article, can he or she answer it? No. No chance. Now you will say, sir, do we need to cram? Definitely not. Definitely not. Important provisions, as we are saying. If I say, why your government cannot be arbitrary? So you should be in a position to say, no, sir, my government cannot be arbitrary because, and then you should start, we have a written, comprehensive, descriptive constitution. Then you should say, which provides for clear cut independence of judiciary. That is right. That is why, because definitely somewhere in the philosophy it was provided. That is why in Keshwanand Bharti case, courts of law, that is, Supreme Court was able to have Jabash, basic structure, doctrine. Otherwise, how they could have come up with that? That is right. So, when you comprehend, then you say, okay, so if I am entering polity, I should have a good idea of these things. That is right. Like one question, if any one of you or your friends are appearing this year, so one question is sure to come. See, government initially brought an ordinance in regard to Delhi, correct? Then they got it approved, ratified in the houses of parliament. We all are aware about it. And by having it, why the ordinance was seen necessary? If I go in the background, but a Supreme Court actually gave control to Delhi government on the services matter, correct? Judgment of Supreme Court can only be reversed through an amendment. Otherwise, you cannot do it. From Shahabano case, we know it. How Rajiv Gandhi government actually made an amendment. So, that is the only way. So, this time also, government introduced an ordinance. So, now the question is ready. So, I need not recall Shahabano case. That can only be mentioned as one line. But more important will be that you discuss the recent one in regard to the ordinance which was presented as a bill and was approved and they will ask you do you think this type of tendency is correct for a, a vibrant democracy will it help to run the government as per the principles of the constitution or you have an opinion that government shall not be having the tendency to change the decisions of the Supreme Court, Apex Court through its powers to amend. So, this question will appear. Anyway, so now you are having, see, it is day one. So, I am trying to give you the feel of the polity. Okay? I am not expecting you, you know it. So, some of the faces are seeing, ye kya hai? 
somebody just said basic structure what is this basic it is a first class i should know basics first okay so some of the faces faces are telling me no worries those who are online at least i cannot see your faces but your questions and other things nothing is coming for last few minutes so i can understand where we are so friends i will first of all in the first class should also tell you what you need to have because once i will start okay so i have given you points for what is polity just to make you comfortable that okay these these things if i will be mentioning do not think i am in a court of law that why sir is mentioning these cases we are not passing any judgment no these are required you are in a competition you are not in where you will be passing the exam and somebody will also pass the exam here only a few will be declared pass and actually most of them the word i should not use fail because fail is not getting less marks fail is suppose like uh, sometimes booking for a cinema and you say i failed to book so that is also a failure why you not reacted earlier so it can be anything missing a flight i missed the flight that can be the thing correct got it so shall we now proceed so let me help you what you need to know when you are going for it one is beta please purchase a guide book if you are having or any note supply that is lakshmi kant is definitely not a bad book it's a good book but my request is please purchase a bear act of indian constitution yeah bear act means beta only the constitution b a r e bear act that is the book titled as indian constitution purchase it uh, of universal law publication or any one which is cheaper one only see the font size it should not be taxing on your eyes because with me for one and a half month when you will be you will be required to read the articles as well whenever i am mentioning i will expect that you at least go through them so you have an idea later on okay bear act and that other things like judgments of courts of law i will be giving you in your notes i have a style of teaching where i will dictate all the important things in the class only so later on only your class notes will be sufficient but as we sometimes say in humor we have books so that you come to know whether teacher is doing something or not of course okay because sometimes it can also happen teachers teach what they know what is required that may not be taught so it's good accountability nowadays we talk of so why not make anyone and everyone accountable so no harm actually now uh, technically beta it will give you because notes are highly highly compressed ideas notes if you are only having you have to revise them at least 10 times then you will comprehend with books if you are doing it then in 2 3 times you will comprehend because books they write lot of thing na they have to sell it for a higher price so they write number of things in that but here i know your time is precious so in the class notes we cannot write anything which is not required we explain a lot but for the writing purpose i understand that this you have to write it i will not use the word vomit in the mains this you have to write in the mains that's right okay so these two things you will be purchasing if you are not having have them and uh, now i am starting with what is a constitution so only two things with me you require and most of that finally you will rely will be on your notes so now i am helping you out 
to understand what is the contradiction. You have any question, Miss? Uh, a guidebook, beta, Lakshmi Khan, huh? Indian polity uh, that you are having is great. But please have Bayer Act also because a uh, lot of things you will comprehend when you will see the framework yourself. Okay. So, what I was giving you, yes, please. Yes. Why have you come here? Okay. Lakshmi Kant also I have said because otherwise you will say yeah, every teacher is telling Lakshmi Kant, this teacher has not said. So, I think you can understand my majaburi. <laughs> otherwise, whether you have it or not, actually I don't care. I trust my notes. Okay. But if you will have it, so that will be better. <laughs> But Bayer Act is must. Beta? Why? Like later on I will be referring to parts in part 7th, in part 8th, part 7th is repealed, in part 8th, part 5th, part 4th. So, you will have an idea eh, what he is referring to. So, you will see that in constitution they have written 22 parts, how there are 25 parts. So, then you will say oh part 4a, part 9a, part 9b, part 14. A, these are the ones which have been, and if I say A, whether they are through amendments or they are were in the original constitution, amendments, correct? Better. That's why I have to give A, B, C, D to anything. Schedules, twelve schedules are there. Huh, twelve schedules are there. That also you should be knowing. Fifth and sixth are UPSC's favorite. Every alternate year, sometimes continuously they have used and why they have used it because they are associated with tribal areas welfare in tribal areas yes both of them and that is where we will also try to understand what is the difference between schedule 5 and schedule 6 but that we will come later see in a class what happens some are starting some have gone through something previously Okay, so you can understand the first class. So do not worry. We will be bearded by Indian Constitution Universal Public. Uh, yes, Universal Publications. See, you can purchase any publishers. I have no connection with any publisher. My idea was only which is cheaper one. Don't purchase a costly one unnecessarily. It can be Universal Law. It can be P M Bakshi. Whatever you like, you can have it. Okay, so friends, now we will start. Is it okay? Sir, the standard book we got from Tatastu, that's a good book. That's why I said Lakshmi Kant is the must book that you should be having. Don't put pressure on me by saying we got from Tatastu. This is pressurizing tactic. <laughs> that, sir, we have been told you are saying. See, what I am saying? That is, that will give you comprehensive coverage. Finally, use class notes. Okay, something which will be in five pages. On each page in a printed book, must be around seven to eight hundred words. So, what will be in four thousand pages here will be in hundred words or two hundred words. So, that is the summary we will be having. Only the important things. Okay. Fine friends, so now let us understand what is a constitution, give the subheading what is a constitution or why a constitution. So now my idea is to understand why a constitution, why do we need a constitution, yes, yes you can ask no worries. Can we? Uh -huh, you can tell. Come on, it's a class. It's dialogue. I never believe only in monologue. But when I am dictating, at that time, don't disturb. Right? Later on, no worries. 
Yes, you can tell why a constitution. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Hmm. Monish has written constitution is a bible of written laws how the government is supposed to work and it limit the scope as well ok hmm. Hmm. ok yes What was this? I have to comprehend myself. Okay, I will do it. When Google can do it, I also can do it. There is no problem in it. You just start typing in Google, it will rec make recommendation. I will do that, miss. Okay, no worries. Uh, we need it because without it, it would be very difficult to govern the people of the country, to limit the powers of the government, and to provide guidelines for forming of policies. Is the Rishi constitution are the laws to serve people? Annapurna Chauhan is saying for democracy. Okay, so why not have a question when you are having some idea? Another question from UPSC only. See, in first day only you will be able to do questions. Which of the following best explains the purpose of the constitution? And here only ABCD is there. A, to have a democratic government. So, for Annapurna, it is for you, the first one is given there, to have a democratic government. B, to have an independent judiciary. C, to have rule of law. And D, to have a limited government. Uh, Sakshi is giving all. Beta all is not there. A, B, C, D. Number of them are giving C, C, A, D, D. Lot of people have given D also. C, D. Fine. Uh, in the house, Okay. A. A. No, no problem, no worries. See, you will fill the form. You will go there to darken the oval. You are right. Whichever you dark. But finally, it will be the UPSC is right to score. And the correct answer is limited government. All the features are of a limited government. D is the right answer. Fine. Your ka jhatka, dheere se. That's right. It's okay. It's okay. That is, we are just beginning. So, but some of them have given the right answer. That's right. And why I troubled you with these type of options? Because all were right. All were correct. That's why some have started thinking that if there would have been 1, 2, 3, 4, life would have been easier for us. No, more correct. Limited government will have all these features. It will have separation of powers, it will have rule of law, it will have entrenchment of authority. So, let us understand it. So, next time we are not going wrong. Okay. So, that is why we are writing why a constitution. Please write something. Constitution is considered as the basic law <coughs> of the land.
put it in point wise only hai na beta that it is the basic law of the land a general statement anywhere you will see second point constitution happens to be having the essential principles and directives essential principles and directives which help in having a limited government underline the word limited government now right in this point only limited government means a government limited by the pre-laid limited by the pre-laid principles comma provisions and rules full stop the idea is to check why we are having this idea hai na the idea is to check the government from going arbitrary the idea is to check the government from going arbitrary arbitrary means whatever you feel like you go by that whimsical by your own whims and fancies it's not freedom my child it is arbitrary means an arbitrary action is some for something what i am not authorized okay something that will have an encroachment on your rights i am not authorized to do it but i still do it like you are having a license you are having everything you are driving but because i have given a hand to your vehicle i will say chalan you will say for what reason and then i try to see number plate is having some problem okay so if you are well versed in law you will come and will say to that policeman please stand with my vehicle i will take a selfie of yours with myself and yourself and we will see in the courts you give me a chalan bhai if there is some problem we will definitely meet in the court of law so court of law then he suddenly will he issue the chalan then no so what has protected you the court of law the laws otherwise you must have watched so many movies related to world war second and how nazis were doing let it be in denmark down 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 having the people and directly firing them down that was arbitrary why nazis were so much hated americans also killed so many people in hiroshima and nagasaki they also killed but they never became that hated as nazis because whatever nazis were doing was purely arbitrary though some people say truman's decision to bomb was also arbitrary because germany has already surrendered and war would not have continued that long why i specifically referred to it a hollywood movie of oppenheimer was released and upsc has a great idea <laughs> of picking the things from past if they have been reminded to you recently so they will not ask you where it was bombed definitely not they will not ask you about it they will ask you about something else 
so when un was formed whether the bombing took place prior to that that is they will put it okay and then they will one two three statement nowadays you know and another problem is that now only one is correct only this and all of them all two are correct all three are correct all four are correct so this is the new era of upsc they are trying to remove elimination techniques which teachers were helping you on videos if this is there then put one two three if this is not there then don't do it they eliminated everything so the smarter we are going they are definitely smarter than us so the best what is the smartest way then learn it if they ask you basic things only why our constitution learn it why our constitution it is not to put restrictions on you it is not to create a jungle of laws rather it is to protect the people so that they can develop completely that's the basic purpose of any law okay so now we understand what is it third point you write so we have learned it is to prevent any arbitrary action hai na beta third constitution is seen important so as to provide a governmental machinery governmental machinery based upon a governmental machinery or government's machinery on the basis of based upon sir next time new sentence will come uh, based upon the following important principles just a minute chetna uh, third point please i am repeating okay uh, i have just started beta saying that the purpose of the constitution is to have a governmental machinery based upon the following principles so now i will be giving you those celebrated principles and if i am celebrated saying celebrated be sure from today's class you will get one or two questions that is how important the first class is okay correct you will 100% see any paper of upsc from 2013 from today's class one question must have been there initial 6 7 classes but don't say that okay sirs now you have given us an idea for 6 7 we have to be regular <laughs> because why 15 questions will come so seven questions from first seven classes and then seven from next 30 classes or 33 sir i am a businessman so i know we have to focus <laughs> no everything will help but yes today's class is very important so celebrated principles means the most important one let's write the principles number 1 rule of law number 2 clear cut separation of powers number second is clear cut separation of powers and first one was rule of law number third entrenchment of authority i am writing the word entrenchment beta trench you understand t r e n c h trench khai okay so trench 
entrenchment of authority entrenchment of authority means i will explain all of them but just don't write it entrenchment of authority simply means that you should not be able to change the scope of your functions your own self that is why the term judicial activism is used for pils now you are getting it by who gave the power to issue pil to supreme court they themselves an entrenchment of authority is saying no you should not be doing it that is why nowadays sorry <laughs> that is why nowadays i feel like anyone and who is sitting now let's teach so, <laughs> so uh, that is why nowadays you must have heard the discussion about collegium also and a bit of because who gave collegium whether it is written in the constitution supreme court on its own self so that is why these two things are mostly asked okay third thing whether basic structure term is mentioned in the constitution no who gave it so till that time it is they are following it it is okay but whether collegium is basic structure who told it abhi please understand don't just be going in the emotions at present we are questioning supreme court sir <laughs> otherwise you are right they have declared it is also basic structure according to them anything that will curtail their power to the slightest level is a basic structure okay and who is knowing that this bill which has been passed on delhi services again may be taken up by supreme court who is knowing it and then again but the government is also now with majority when the idea of pil and all these became very popular was when governments were not in majority anyway it will be a great fun to understand them first of all let's write the principles entrenchment of authority i will explain all of these okay first of all at a place let's know okay these are the cardinal principles fourth one independent judiciary or independence of judiciary next point the writtenness of the constitution means a written constitution fine something interesting for you have you watched namaste london oh very good syllabus is complete uh, that's nice so when uh, on a yacht akshay kumar started talking about okay india what he really missed from this point can you think of he should have simply said them do you have a written constitution look who is talking <laughs> finish over and out we you don't have a constitution you just keep saying we have a constitution show me where is it then you say conventions come on conventions cannot be a constitution so it means your judiciary is strong or weak weak yes written constitution will always give strength to the judiciary right beta so now you will know how important is to have writtenness of the constitution that's why we are writing it in the cardinal principles next beta arrangement of democracy next thesis of fundamental rights fundamental rights beta 
so as far as possible children fundamental right should be mentioned in the constitution so if you want to migrate to any country first of all check their constitution okay and just see oh it is not here leave it set aside okay you should have this is a fundamental rights and we are saying as far as possible in the constitution next this is of welfare orientation yes beta the last point is this is of welfare orientation divya jain has asked me sixth point what was sixth point Sixth point, Divya is arrangement of democracy. Mahi is asking seventh. Seventh point, beta is thesis of fundamental rights. Eighth point, we have written Mahi. I am asking. Nobody has asked me. No. Anyway, I am highly thankful to all of you. Uh, fine, friends. So now we have, now we have a roadmap for us. Okay, that I need to know what these principles are. And as I told you, from here, a question generally will be asked. From today's entire class. 100% one question okay so at 10:30 when i will say thank you very much by that time 100% two marks are with you okay so sir the first one is rule of law let's start understanding them one by one now we will go slightly in detail uh, i think class is not going complex it is simple so any time do you start feeling that the level is suddenly moving up just let me know okay i will give you a story a shield with it or something so that you comprehend and things will become easier for you rule of law uh, before writing please understand it it's an important one because number of times you keep hearing that rule of law shall be maintained okay please first of all differentiate it from due process of law it is not we are talking of due process of law or procedure established by law that is a separate debate okay that's a separate debate but yes rule of law is a basic idea which simply tells that no one in the state will be having any special privilege that will be treated separately and will not be treated uniformly by the law okay again let's make it simple so rule of law is somewhere trying to present the idea of equality before the law correct that is why number of times nowadays we don't ask but any time they can ask you article 361 where your president and your governor is having some sort of exception but that is temporary my child in india it's not so that on them rule of law will not apply on the person it will apply only on the chair it will not so when the person will not be in the chair yes a criminal case can be registered again that person only till the time you are in chair that the proceedings will not go but when you are not in chair proceedings can be initiated against you correct but yes for prelims it is a question for mains also you know the answer now but if they ask you that in india we do not follow the rule of law in absolute terms and there are exceptions like president and governor and then they ask you to elucidate 
so you will say that prima facie if we read the provisions of article 361 it will appear to us that they have been given exceptions and exemptions from criminal cases and for a particular time even from the civil cases correct but then you will say that if we see it in detail then the chair has been given the protection okay chair not the person so once the person will not be in chair then let it be even criminal cases can be initiated against them. Beta, my child, I have not said all politicians, beta. I have, no, I am not saying even some. I have specifically mentioned president and governor. It is not valid for prime minister. Okay. Uh, yeah. Prime officer, huh? Pratham Drashtaya. You are checking my Hindi? It's very good. No, I am telling you. It's equally good. I can teach you exactly these things in Hindi also. No, that's right. Please ask. If you have any confusion, please ask. But this is good. Honestly, I like that. Because that shows your seriousness. What shall be going in your notes? It is to everyone. You should be knowing its meaning. There is no point that you take notes and again back at your home you are thinking what does it mean? Ask me here. So rule of law in principle now you are knowing? Now let me explain you in detail. Please write. Rule of law refers to Rule of law refers to the essential principle that no one shall be treated above the law That is, everyone will be equal before the law Next point in it, have it up. A V dicey. A V dicey. with whom this principle is seen associated a v dicey name of a person very very popular one has been asked okay like robert t malthus was asked these are some of the people whose name you should be knowing a v dicey rule of law if it comes for matching na beta robert t malthus population theory okay separation of power montesquieu Sometimes these type of question also ask. They are very simple. But if you miss beta 1 or 2, then under the current arrangement, one pair is correct, two pair is correct, it becomes difficult. So need, need to know all of them. And I have never seen one thing to give you confidence. And this is the absolutely correct statement I am making. I have never seen any difficult question in UPSC prelims paper. And I am sharing this view with full responsibility of it. I have seen questions only which actually seek your understanding. That do you understand it? Okay? Okay? That is the only thing. Tell you. Let's proceed further. Ah, Avid I see who is seen associated with this principle. Avid I see who is seen associated with this principle clearly stated
that even those that even those who that even those who are exercising authority on behalf of who are exercising authority on behalf of the state will not enjoy special privileges and will not have a separate set of rules for them and will not have a separate set of rules for them like the officers enjoying like the officers enjoying in the french system of droit administratif Dro like enjoyed by by the french officers under droit administratif sir bata raha hu Droid means rules or laws. Okay, of administration. Okay, that is why a question can be asked at mains or even at pre about tribunals. because tribunals are nothing but administrative courts okay beta that is why this question so what is in the foundation let's understand the seed and sapling rule of law there the debate will start let me explain you everyone be here on the board see in france what is the system one is right administrative other is beta public law theek okay? hai public law is governed by courts of law courts of law like we have courts but right administrative here it will be tribunals and the apex body is council de etat correct council of the state council date it means council of the state napoleon bonaparte started it theek okay? hai so in france the system is that public officers for any exercise of their power so if you have any grievance you will go to a tribunal and who is heading the tribunal administrative officers only and who is the head of council de tat french president president is the head so president is also beta executive so avid ic said in 1880s okay what is this in this system if citizens are having any grievance can they really have redressal of their grievance no because if executive is asking to do it then where will you go in rule of law let's come this side in rule of law we have it like this larger one right beta in it only there will be administrative law correct here only will be constitutional law and other laws other public 
laws and who will sit there courts okay beta so let us frame a pre type question on it are you clear with the diagram shivani garg sir please explain sometimes in hindi also uh, shivani beta just ask me anything that you are not clear and i will definitely explain you in hindi also yes beta criminals will be here but finally let me frame the question now ma'am and you will understand whether i will frame you to explain it so that you understand it sir please explain the second diagram okay jasmine second diagram is saying that administrative law also is covered under courts of law okay beta so now i am asking you one statement jasmine you only try to answer first of all if some person is not happy with the judgment of central administrative tribunal that will be assured with you people okay can you go to courts of law or you cannot move to court of law suppose you are not happy so whether you will have right to make an appeal in the high court or supreme court whatever may be the appropriate level you are saying we can why is it possible because this system is there whether in france you can go to court of law for a judge for a judgment given by tribunal no you cannot there you cannot so which is a better system beta rule of law so now you can understand why we are seeing it first is it not a very powerful check on arbitrariness now i am connecting with the first sentence it's a very powerful check on arbitrary application of authority hai na beta it is that's why they ask you okay uh, a judgment given by ngt national green tribunal is still whether appeal is possible in court of law or ngt is the final one ngt is the final one i have not said anything i have simply said ngt of india national green tribunal is here only pari is also saying no beta ngt are you aware it is in france ngt of india i am talking about and till the time this diagram is there it will be valid against any tribunals decision it is possible only thing that you cannot go to a district court against a tribunals decision because appropriate level if it has been given equivalence of a high court then either in high court or supreme court you can go dhyan rakhna hai na koi baat nahi first time i simply said that if a tribunal is having the equivalence equivalence means barabari if the tribunal is having equivalence of a high court then definitely beta you cannot go to a district court level for appeal against it hai na beta either you can go to supreme court or to a high court a tribunal one person has given the order you can seek it from a bench at high court or you can go even to a single judge bench of supreme court because that is definitely the other level correct so that is the only thing but yes in india we can definitely go and that is a solid proof of it so a possible question for your pre and ngt he fire karega will be giving ngt only because number of students may be confused that it is related to green and all this and it is a highly specialized thing so may not be there go by the principles that is what i am saying 
डोंट थिंक ऑफ एनी थिंग गो बाय इट ओके वेदर अगेंस्ट कोर्ट मार्शल यू कैन गो टू सुप्रीम कोर्ट कोर्ट मार्शल इज बाय अ ट्रिब्यूनल इक्वल लाइक कंज्यूमर फोरम बेटा है ना एट डिस्ट्रिक्ट लेवल इट विल बी ना बेटा चाइल्ड तो यस इट विल है लाइक कैट इज गिवन द इक्वेलेंस ऑफ अ हाई कोर्ट तो इफ अ कैट डिसीजन इज चैलेंज इन हाई कोर्ट जनरली इट शुड बी अ टू जज बेंच तो बेंच यू अंडरस्टैंड ना वेन इट इज नॉट अ सिंगल जज तो देन इट विल बी इट कैन बी आस्ट एनी वे इट इज डे वन सो दीज वर्ड विल कीप कमिंग टू अस नाउ वी आर actually feeling what polity is <laughs> okay so rule of law slightly we have started understanding it people say it is very difficult but i think it is very easy understand france and you understand rule of law because something what is not here is rule of law okay yes please ask ha huh. Tradition, tradition is different altogether. Different provision. Huh. Tell me, tradition is not mentioned in the constitution. First of all, you know, huh. court, military courts. Huh. Court martial means military courts. So, military court is a court or a tribunal? Tribunal. So, yes, you can go. Of course. can a military court in india give a sentence to death to someone then why not are ladies have gone to supreme court and have actually seen permanent commission tribunal hai na dar thodi dar thodi jayenge military word lag gaya aage to it's a tribunal okay of course till that time it is as per the service manual definitely courts will not they will say it is exactly as per you have not followed the rules but if the question is of gender discrimination if the question is of your any fundamental right they will intervene then they will ask you to change even your rules and laws and they asked why not military will change its laws if they are discriminatory why not why they cannot be given a permanent commission because you have the power to make rules but we are sitting here we are in rule of law last 10 years have been with all this so that's why i asked about this military courts and all they can make rules 100% they are allowed but such rules shall not be based on discrimination what is guaranteed in the constitution no one can go against it even courts are not allowed to go against it clear fine fine sir then write few lines under it so now you have understood it what it means please write rule of law can be best comprehended rule of law can be best comprehended as a principle that will not allow public officials to go arbitrary as they all will know that their judgments can be questioned and can be declared void
if there is any case of misfiasence malfiasence or overfiasence fiasence means law rule hai na beta so misfiasence means wrong application of law malfiasence means malified application of law and overfiasence means going beyond your jurisdiction application of law beyond your jurisdiction खेल खेल में मैच द फॉलोइंग ओके वॉट इट इज मिसफियासेंस इज इन नॉट इंटेंशनल बाई चांस मेलफियासेंस इज इंटेंशनल मेलाफाइड इंटेंशन ओवरफियासेंस इज समथिंग दैट इज नॉट इन योर जूरिस डिक्शन वॉट इज नॉट इन योर जूरिस डिक्शन देन इट विल बी ओवरफियासेंस सो इट मीन्स ऑफिशियल विल हैव अ चेक मेलाफाइड बैड इंटेंशन ओके विच इन अलाफाइड एक्शन समथिंग विथ अ बैड इंटेंशन लाइक एस एच ओ इज आस्किंग सम वन दैट गिव मी दिस मच मनी अदरवाइज आई विल अप्लाई अ पर्टिकुलर सेक्शन वेयर पनिशमेंट इज मोर देन सेवन ईयर्स सो इट मीन्स यू विल नॉट गेट अ बेल इजिली सिंपल दैट इज अ सिंपल वे इफ द सेक्शन इज अप टू फोर ऑफ फाइव ईयर्स you get a bail nowadays in principle but if any section suppose seven sections have been applied and if any section is there in which punishment is more than 7 years then getting a bail is not that easy okay generally session courts will not allow it you have to rush to high courts of not supreme court high courts aapki to lottery lag gayi beta for few days you will be behind the bars and definitely prison at any age is not a great place to live okay it's not a great place so don't you think it is malafide that is what okay so we ask them so anyway it's an effective check that is why in the first thing we say there should be a good lawyer of yours okay the debate in high court of sharukh khan son we all are aware and he said it is all malafide and then proceedings started against the very officer he was not only transferred but we saw some proceedings also going on against him correct so why because mr rohit ji who was ex attorney general of india he said it is all absurd share if of minds is not possible by mere presence of people at a particular place so you cannot say it and then high court not only granted bail but also later on court said that it was malafide एप्लीकेशन ऑफ लॉ मेलफिया सेंस ठीक है अब समझ में आ गया बेटा गुड गो हेड तो दिस नाउ वी नो इट इन अ ब्रैकेट राइट आर्टिकल फोर्टीन ऑफ इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन कैन बी सीन एसोसिएटेड विद इट साथ साथ सीखते भी जाएंगे आर्टिकल फोर्टीन वन फोर ऑफ इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन कैन बी सीन एसोसिएटेड विद इट ठीक है, बिकॉज आर्टिकल फोर्टी इन दो इट इज हैविंग टू थिंग्स बट फर्स्ट थिंग इन इट इज इक्वेलिटी बिफोर लॉ एंड देन सेकेंड वर्ड इज इक्वल प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ लॉ दैट इज सेपरेट थिंग आई एम नॉट गोइंग इन दैट स्कोप बट यस इक्वेलिटी बिफोर लॉ मीन्स रूल ऑफ लॉ ओनली ओके 
they will put it in this format let me tell you equality before law a colon sign and in front of it will be written equals shall be treated equally and unequals unequally is it correct pairing or wrong pairing i am repeating it on one side they will write equality before law or they can write rule of law any word of them then a colon and on the other side they will write equals shall be treated equally and unequals unequally is it right pairing or wrong pairing wrong 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 everyone is writing that i am not saying you are wrong harshita has given right ah uh, arpita right sakshi wrong it's wrong pairing it is for equal protection of law if equal protection of law i would have given and then this word was correct but not for equality before law equality before law means all are to be treated equal that is why in champakam durai rajan case supreme court somewhere whistled out the thesis of reservation and that is why first amendment immediately was required in 1951 otherwise how reservation could have been possible by if equality before law is there but then supreme court saw the amendment and said that see equal protection of law is also there correct anyway we will learn them as we will proceed so this is sufficient to know this particular thing now let's understand second thing second kya hai beta clear cut separation of powers to ye samajh le kis ki baat ho rahi hai whether this separation of power is between center and state no here it is between three wings and what are those three wings let's say legislature executive correct good and judiciary can you tell me why it is always shown by a circle legislature I'm just asking if you know it acha parliament circle mein okay great suppose parliament building would have been like this ye permanent nahi hai garib why it is so poor that is not permanent lok sabha is circular क्या क्या बोलिए बोलिए हाँ इफ ओनली वन हाउस इज देयर स्टेट लेजिस्लेचर का बनाना है तो कैसा बनाऊ टेल मी सेमी सर्कल उसे दोबारा मत पढ़ना उस बुक को कोई बात नहीं जो इतना खतरनाक गलत बता सकता है ओ गॉड सी समटाइम्स एक्चुअली इट हैपेंड विद अस आल्सो एंड इट इज मोर डिफिकल्ट टू अनलर्न रॉन्ग थिंग अच्छा ऐसे दोबारा मत पढ़ना यू यूज द वर्ड दैट वाज करेक्ट बट देन यू एक्चुअली एम्फेसाइज ऑन टू हाउसेस इन द हाउस एवरी इज इक्वल दैट्स वाई सर्कल let it be prime minister let it be a private member all are equal here everyone is not equal that's why with a triangle it's hierarchy that's right okay so any legislature whatever may be the shape is it oval shaped circle building shaped square shaped whatever may be the building legislature will always be shown by a circle circle means everyone inside it is equal there is no there is no hierarchy within it okay and beta it can be unicameral it can be tricameral it can be bicameral anything it can be 
Okay, anyway, Indian legislature is like this. This is president and two houses. Anyway, we will learn later. We will learn later. So, executive is always shown by a triangle. Triangle means a hierarchical arrangement. Okay, monochromatic nature of authority. Am I being so technical? Monocratic nature means power emerges from one single source. That is monocratic nature of authority. Okay, that is why, beta. Article 53, all the executive powers of the union shall be seen vested in the office of the president. Okay? If I would have not made it a triangle, that article would have gone wrong. And then Article 77, 1, all the functions of the union shall be seen carried out in the name of the president. Ab clear? Ho gaya? Any doubts? Okay? Who is responsible? Well, ek baar, sikha dete aapko. Then let me ask a question of UPSC. And you will understand kitna asan hai. Ye bhi galat kar sakte hai kya? Let's ask you a question. Who of the following is responsible for formulation of rules of business for the executive? Monish Mohan, you are right, but now try to better answer this question. Who of the following is responsible for the formulation of rules of business for the executive? A. President of India. B. Union Cabinet. C. Prime Minister of India. D. Union Parliament. Question Dhyan se suniye. Who of the following is responsible for framing of rules of business for executive, union executive? And don't ask me ABCD again because correct answer definitely I am remembering. Other order I have forgot now. <laughs> President is the correct answer. Finish. It is, they are making laws, that is different thing. But till that time it is within. So who of the following is responsible for creation of a new ministry or a department? Right? Responsibility runs towards the top. ओके यूपीएससी से बहुत बार पूछती है और बड़ी प्रसन्न होती है कि देखो कितने बच्चे गलत कर रहे हैं मत गलत करना आसान डायग्राम इट्स एन सिंपल वन रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी रन्स टुवर्ड्स द टॉप इफ इट इज एट द स्टेट लेवल बेटा हु विल बी रिस्पांसिबल गवर्नर 7 टू 8 टाइम दिस क्वेश्चन हैज बीन आस्क्ड फ्रॉम 1998 7 टू 8 टाइम्स इतनी फ्रीक्वेंसी है इसकी दे आर आस्किंग यू वेरी सिंपल थिंग who of the following is responsible for allocation of portfolios? Allocation of portfolios. Jab tak responsible laga hua hai, hil na mat. President. Kaya na ji union cabinet kuch achcha nahi lagra, upar hua hai, bas baat karta. Finish. Who is responsible, President? If it is union government. But if they ask you who is responsible for formulation of rules of business for Lok Sabha, the president mat laga dijega. Then it will be speaker, presiding officer here. For Rajya Sabha, chairman Rajya Sabha. Chairman. When he is there, the word used is chairman. And that's right, ex officio. Vice president is the ex officio chairperson. Correct? But don't use that word when you are using it here. Okay? Fine. So, this is clear. This question is also clear. Ho jayega na ye? Ye wo dusra question is it. <laughs> One is almost already done. This is the second question which is having very high frequency and they keep asking you. 
हु इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल ओके तो यस प्राइम मिनिस्टर अलॉट्स पोर्टफोलियो दिस इज करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट बट नॉट रिस्पॉन्सिबल रिस्पॉन्सिबल फाइनली इज द प्रेजिडेंट क्रिएशन ऑफ अ मिनिस्ट्री दे कैन आस्क यू क्रिएशन ऑफ अ डिपार्टमेंट जो अभी तक नहीं पूछा गया वो बता रहा हूं आपको ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज अ रिस्पॉन्सिबल तो रिस्पॉन्सिबल इज नॉट द मिनिस्टर कंसर्न इट इज फाइनली द प्रेजिडेंट ओके सर फाइन नाउ वट इज द थर्ड वन सर मुझे टाइम बता दीजिए जनरली मैं भूल जाता हूं तो नाउ वट इज इंडिपेंडेंट जुडिशरी इज राइट That's also an important thing. नहीं इसको समझाना है वट इज जुडिशरी अच्छा थोड़ा बता दो ओके तो राजू बना देता हूँ भाई पहले तो ठीक सर जुडिशरी आई विल गो टू मॉन्टेस्क्यू ओनली ओके लेट्स गिव रेस्पेक्ट टू दैट पर्सन हु गेव अस दिस आइडिया ही सेट दैट ऑल द प्रॉब्लम्स इन फ्रांस and in germany at that time bohemia were because the king was having all the powers of the state by what powers to make rules to apply rules and to adjudicate rules if a person is only making the law if the person only is applying the law the same person and if any body questions then he is the only one who is adjudicating means doing justice hearing the appeals then there is no chance that tyranny can be prevented anyone can go despotic despotic means nirankush anyone can go despotic so he said if we need to check these despotic tendencies then we need a system where checks and balances are possible that's why in the american constitution the word checks and balances have been used theek hai isliye word pooch sakta hai so i am actually highlighting all those words which they can ask you so what is the meaning of checks and balances checks and balances are always they mean that someone's functioning can be checked by here or here fine why i talked about collegium beta big question is on this what is the system of checks and balances how do you check okay that is why you must have heard judges saying that before our appointment Three three times vigilance clearances are required in our cases. You must have heard of it, na? They say that we are clean. Then only it is possible to be appointed because vigilance reports are taken not one, two, rather three times nowadays. Three types of vigilance clearances are required. One from IB, second from. generally again from ib or any other specialized agency that the government may appoint they even see their files judgments what has been given they enquire they find out about the property the assets which they are having everything everything okay this is the side what judges say when people say that sir are you arbitrary they say how can we be arbitrary before our appointment before the government is giving clearance to our appointment three three times they go for vigilance reports on us and if there is any red flag even one single red flag the name is not recommended okay so when you talk of judiciary in judiciary what you should understand here is that in india judiciary is integrated what do you mean by it it is not like usa that supreme court is in new york also supreme court is in california also and there is a federal supreme court also harshita is asking me sir is there vigilance for executive appointment uh, yes when it is selection grade posts okay 
there is a civil services board which is clearing the names for joint secretary and above so all the hard working people in the states who are never recommended to become joint secretary you can understand they are the most honest people that they never got the vigilance clearance you can understand it's a sarcastic remark i have given that they are the most hard working and most honest people that everyone is knowing <laughs> so they are not recommended yes it is we have a system we have a system and for you officials will be cvc continuously always after you cbi two agencies so we keep hearing lot of corruption it's not that bad otherwise country with 140 crore population could not have been running <laughs> if it is running well it means more officers are good officers there we always keep hearing it's like on a white shirt even a small dot will be so highly okay visible and we actually try to project that only project good things also lot of good things are there otherwise with this type of population by now you would have seen many divisions of india so it means lot of good work has been done by your seniors that's why it is so take pride in your country and take pride in civil services that's why you are applying for it okay there may be one or two cases like one arrested in jharkhand that lady okay we all are aware i will not like to like take names of anyone but they are only few otherwise better most of them are good anyway sir so why i said integrated judiciary because suppose i ask you a question let me explain you one more concept time hai bhai ek concept ka aur ho jayega na एक और कॉन्सेप्ट सीखते हैं मे बी फाउंडेशन प्रिंसिपल ही है इट इज ऑल्सो फाउंडेशन प्रिंसिपल देर आर फ्यू थिंग्स बेटा लाइक द लेजिस्लेचर दिस इज यूनियन लेवल दिस इज स्टेट लेवल ओके हियर टू टाइप्स आइदर दिस और दिस विल बी देयर एट द स्टेट लेवल ओके देन माई चाइल्ड one will be executive here also executive will be there but there are few arrangements beta which equally apply to both okay like the arrangement of elections correct beta so if i say who is responsible for the election to legislative assembly you will say election commission of india who is responsible for election to legislative council you will say election commission of india you will not say election commission of the state of india only hai na beta okay rajya sabha members election commission of india lok sabha members election commission of india election of president and vice president election commission of india koi problem nahi hai ek to hoga elections second audit second is accounts and audit that is also integrated and audit theek hai beta so who is actually responsible for making the rules or forms of accounts chaliye abhi principle samjhaya tha aap dekhte hain who of the following is responsible for formulation of forms of accounts for union and for the states dekhiye answer pehle hi aa gaya zarurat hi nahi hai aage b option mera cag hi hona tha on the recommendation of cag president is doing but finally who is doing it president aur yahan to maine aasan kiya here i have made it simple wahan wo state puchhega who of the following is responsible for forms of accounts in the states integrated hai president 
प्रेजिडेंट नहीं तो स्टेट्स बेटा ऐसे फॉर्म्स ऑफ अकाउंट बनाते कि किसी को कुछ समझ में ही नहीं आता स्टेट्स वुड हैव एम्बेजल्ड ऑल द फंड सो दैट इज वाई इट इज इंटीग्रेटेड नाउ द थर्ड थिंग वट इज इंटीग्रेटेड जुडिशियल नाराज हो गया भैया ब्लूटूथ से ठीक है थैंक्स तो जुडिशरी सुप्रीम कोर्ट हियर इट इज रिटन हाई कोर्ट एंड देन देन सबॉर्डिनेट कोर्ट्स ठीक है इफ आई गो बाय द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन दे आर इट इज इन पार्ट फाइव इट इज इन पार्ट सिक्स बट रिमेंबर let it be a case of union let it be a case of state law it can be heard here it can be heard here it can be heard here theek hai so the famous question that upsc has been asking and most of them have been marking wrong is that governor can pardon only such sentences where high court has given the sentence but not the apex court it is a wrong statement if it is raju mohan versus state of maharashtra and if it is not death sentence and even if it is death sentence he cannot pardon it death sentence but he can commute he can reprieve he can respite even in the case of a death sentence so governor will have power if it is a case versus state and president in a case versus state will only have power in only one case where it is a death sentence theek hai kahin political murder na ho jaye isliye because regionalism can actually surface so only for this reason in case of death sentence it is there if it is beta life imprisonment the power will not come and if it is versus state of tamil nadu or state of kerala or state of uttar pradesh the power will not come to president if it is union territory power will be with the president okay but if it is versus state then it will be governor income tax cases versus union of india or union laws where it is versus union of india then the power will be with the president theek hai this is how we comprehend it ye clear hua to ye teen integrated system hai these are three integrated arrangements to mujhe bata sakte hai kaun si list mein hoga elections list 1 list 2 list 3 लिस्ट वन होगा अगर लिस्ट टू में जाएगा तो किसका इलेक्शन जाएगा पंचायत एंड लोकल बॉडीज इट शुड गो सेंसस एवरीथिंग विल बी इन लिस्ट फर्स्ट ओनली यूनियन लिस्ट तो आर दीज डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन पीपल से आई विल हैव टू क्रैम 97 सब्जेक्ट्स मेहनती हो करो भाई अदरवाइज व्हाट आई फील अंडरस्टैंड द सिस्टम यू विल ऑटोमेटिकली अंडरस्टैंड वेर इट विल गो who is asking you to cram 61 subjects 52 subjects on 97 subjects 98 99 who is asking one is the addition by nature you can tell that if it is there mm -hmm, it will be by this clear that is why administration of justice from list second was taken to concurrent list five subjects have been taken away clear friends so judiciary you got some idea about indian judiciary we will be seeing all this in detail now what is next after it yes hum bata dete hain see pehle president karte hain fir governor kar lenge ek minute mein hmm? see my child i was only telling you that how do you decide 
दैट इन विच केस हु विल हैव द पावर्स ऑफ क्लिमेंसी ठीक है दया की शक्ति किसके पास है दैट इज वॉट वी विल सी हु विल हैव द पावर्स ऑफ क्लिमेंसी अब उसमें पार्डन हो कम्यूट हो दैट इज डिफरेंट क्लिमेंसी पावर्स सो इफ द केस इज वर्सेज यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया then 100% it is with the president it cannot be with the governor correct if it is versus state of madhya pradesh suppose then the power will be with the governor not with the president only in one case power will come to the president that is death sentence theek hai then i told you in death sentence there is only one exception that governor cannot pardon that but governor will definitely have the powers to commute reprieve respite okay that is why only the fight if there is a political prisoner who is well connected in politics and has been given death sentence you know fight is only till what time to get it changed either from high court or supreme court to life imprisonment because then state government on any 15th of august will do like this and will free so real tussle even for politically connected people is only till the time till the time it is not converted to life imprisonment that is what in rajiv gandhi assassins case you must have heard na okay they passed a proposal in their assembly and uh, the chief minister recommended usko bolte hain remission that's a separate thing in the case of sanjay dat what happened was remission anyway so so we can say any pardon by president only sir no not any pardon beta only the case where it is like hamdard dawa khana versus union of india ठीक है वेहर इट इज वर्सेस इज इंपॉर्टेंट अगेंस्ट हूम इट इज देयर तो इफ इट इज वर्सेस यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया प्रेसिडेंट विल हैव पार एंड इफ इट इज वर्सेस स्टेट एनी स्टेट द गवर्नर विल हैव पार ओके फाइन फ्रेंड्स इट्स टाइम ओके फाइन फ्रेंड्स सो वी विल कंटिन्यू टुमारो ओके थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर टूडे इज पेशेंट लिसनिंग for you all your patience that you were having and you got something be honest okay samajh mein aa raha hai bouncers nahi jane chahiye okay dekho nature subject kya hota hai let me tell you what is the subject knowing its terminology okay science is also easy physics is the easiest subject but the problem is terminology human anatomy very easy problem is terminology if you know it so any subject when you enter day one or two try to know the meaning of words so don't allow any word in your notes to go without understanding agar word bola hai draw it administrative to aapko samajh mein aana chahiye kya hai that is what i was impressed on day one only you were asking that's very good keep asking like this within 10 15 days you will become so comfortable with the subject that you will start understanding what is the demand where it is going okay friends so see you tomorrow thank you very much god bless you all bye bye